Good morning, everybody. Welcome to another Relax and Paint. Today, I am going to um, do something different than I usually do. And I'm going to do um, a great painting on canvas that can be used for greeting cards or just special granddaughters that or somebody special in your life that you want to um, give a picture of. So it's going to be a surprise. I know if you've watched this, you probably saw the picture of what, what we're doing. But um, I have taken my sponge with some patina, some patina color. Okay, this is multi-surface folk art, multi-surface paint. It's got a sealer in it. It's really nice. But if you drop water, if you drop water before it dries, this is what happens. But I'm going to paint something over that. But I take a patina and a teeny bit of um a, a teeny bit of water. I just put my fingers with water on the sponge and I just uh, put some coats on here and I wanted it really strokey looking. Okay. So I wanted that dry before we got started. And I'm going to do hair on a beautiful young lady. And so I picked up some colors that you might, you could use a darker brown, you could use black with some gray, medium gray tones. If you have darker hair or gray hair with some white. And then these are some shades that would be good. This is yellow ochre. This is bark brown. This is camel, coffee latte, and wicker white. And <clears throat> I am going to use some floating medium. All right. And that's the fluff that's inside this paint with no pigment in it. So it's clear and we don't use water with one stroke, okay? So unless you're doing curly cues or something with your script liner. So here's the bottles of the paint colors I was just telling you. So I wanna share those with you. And then when we get ready to put added color, I will share those colors that were used for that, okay? So I'm gonna use um, a 12 first. Uh, what I want to do a 12 flat, what I want to do is kind of draw out the, the young lady that I want to do, okay? So I want to put her head right here, size is about four fingers spread for the head. And then I'm going to kind of put braids on her. So I'm going to put some little braids down. So it's kind of like one, two, three and the tail all right i am going to put a wreath around her all right as you can tell and so i'm going to come down with her neck and shoulders and over here there's a little bit of shoulder showing and then i'm going to come back down here and we're just going to put a little bit of her dress, okay? All right. Let me make that a little bit bigger. All right. So five fingers across from my thumb over or spread four fingers. All right. This is a nine by, ten, uh, nine by 12, okay? And so I just spread out some chalk there. So first thing I'm going to do, guys, is I'm going to work on the flesh part. Now, you can use a teeny bit of pink melon over here if you want to tone some pretty colors into her skin. But remember, that's going to be pretty dark, but you can have different nationalities here. So I could grab some white. This is actually a 16. I said a 12. I want you to see that we're just going to kind of abstract. I'm going to put this here so you can see where I'm going to pick up some white, a little bit of that pink melon, and then I want it strokey looking. Okay, strokey, is that a word? And a little bit over here. A 
but plenty of paint. Okay, so I'm picking up lots of paint on here and a little bit of light. Okay. A little bit of white on her shoulder. And a little bit. A little bit of dark is going to be under here. Dark's going to be right there. A little bit of dark along here. So I'm picking up the coffee latte and it'll be shadowed under her hair. Okay, just a little bit there. And let's go smooth down here. Here we go. Pick up a little bit of white, more white than I thought. It's a little bit of her shoulder blade in her neck. All right. I'm coming down a little bit more because we can take and put the dress up on that. And we want to do that before we put the hair. Now, so you can do any dress color. You can do any hair color or hairstyle. You can just have it all hanging. Um, I just have a problem with people when they just chop off the hair. So try this first and then we'll work in the future on doing something a little different. This is a little bit of Cardinal Red and this is um, Pink Melon. All right, so I'm going to pick up some of that medium on the other plate. And I'm going to go across here first. So I really kind of... I'm gonna go across and not make and and not leave that braid unpainted there, okay? Now coming across, still got my 16. Now imagine this on any size canvas, okay? Or I like to do these little canvases from Dollar Tree and they fit in, this one does, and they have canvases this size too, which is a four by six. Um, and this is a five by seven. They fit in an envelope and you can just send them as a greeting card. So I'd love to share that with you. And I think painting, um, I'm gonna grab white now. Um, painting a card is a lot more meaningful than buying them and then they could frame them which is really nice especially if you're a mom or a grandma or somebody you really love or a great grandma <laughs> I actually have some of those Okay, so see by adding a little bit of white in there, you could just leave it just like that. And not do it completely. Is that kind of nice? A little bit more. You could decide to finish it or not finish it. But I kind of like it. Okay. You don't have to make anything perfectly smooth because it's a little bit abstract. So can you see that well? <coughs> okay. So I like to use dark to get light, right? So one of the things, I'm gonna do her kind of blonde. 
So one of the things is, is coffee latte. And we're going to make it really loose, just like the background's kind of sketchy. All right, so we're going to come around here. And that's coffee latte, and I can use a little bit of bark brown in there. All right, so then the braids start here. You know what, there's water right there. I don't know how I did that. Gotta rub that in or it'll leave that spot like I already showed you. Isn't this kind of fun? All right. And we put a flower wreath at the top so that makes it even nicer. So the hair is kind of loose. Now I would add more dark like burn umber, little bits of cream if I wanted a darker, or you could use a little bit of yellow ochre if you want it to be a darker brown with highlights. Okay, I'm gonna wipe this off my brush and I'm going to bring in some yellow ochre all while, while this is wet, okay? So I'm gonna pull in some yellow ochre. All right, so little bits. All right, so that's another shade you could leave it. And then add little bits of white. But I'm gonna take yellow ochre and white. And I'm going to just Come in here. Now, instead of doing large strokes there, I can decide now to start adding more detail, a little bit more detail. This kind of fun. All right, so I'm going to start with her braid. So now this, this side goes over that side. And then we have another one coming here. Another one coming here. All right. I want you to see that all those dark colors underneath helps you. Get some of the color we want. See, everything's kind of loose. I am going to come in here. A little bit of dark in the neck there. It's kind of bugging me. Okay, so we want to give her some character now. She needs a little bit more, but a couple of things I'd like to do is let me get a script liner. They like to have loose hair hanging these days. So I'm going to put a little bit of hair. Uh, loosely. See, that's not showing, so I can get some weight and a little bit 
my husband always says they're messy, then they brush their hair. But this is a look that they like. So think about that. This is one script liner. So I can come in, just have fun. I want to see what y'all do. Try different hair colors and a little bit of different hairstyles. Okay. All right, now, just getting more, a little bit more personality. All right, I'm gonna blow dry just for a minute. Okay, and um, I still would like to come in here with little bits of white, a little bit more. Might have done too much, let's see. There, okay. You just put some around, make it something that you like. I just keep adding to it, right? Okay, so I'm gonna come in here with a smaller brush, let's see. Let's use an eight. And I want to pick up, I have some wicker white and cardinal red. All right, so I'm gonna put some flowers right here, here, and here. All right, so that's gonna be the red tones. All right, so then I put on this eight, I put the cardinal red, because it's not too bright, it's not like apple red. And then I'm gonna come in here and pick up some, some white. And I wanna go around the outside of the, each flower and outline it with a little bit of white. All right, so I'm going to come closer now so you can see that. So cardinal red. And I'm going to get the white here spread out. So I'm going to side load some white because I didn't do that too well there. Just side load some white. All right, now up and over. Do a U. Chisel, 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 chisel. This one you can't see as much. All right, so we're gonna go along the outside of here. All right. I'm gonna come back in here, do a U under there, and chisel. Chisel. I'll practice strokes. I'm going to show a few, a few more roses for you. So if you want to go over there and watch Friday, I'm going to have some of that, depending on when you're watching this. All right. So I so that gives you a little bit of this tone. So let's add some perfect purple here. Do I want that in there? Uh, the beautiful thing is that I can change my color because I blew, I did that blow dry on it. So I can take, take that out. So 
So let's go ahead and put a little bit of pink melon. I thought that purple would pop in there good, but I'm not liking it. All right, so. I'm going to make it a little bit brighter with some a little bit of pure orange. Okay, I think that'll look good. And I can come here. This can be a different kind of little flower. Look, I can chisel. Chisel, chisel. A little bit more like a, a chrysanthemum. All right. So I'm just, those are all petals pulled down instead of making a rose shape. Okay, so uh, after I put my green, I can come back and touch like a few little buds or something. Like, look, I can come in here. A little bit of orange and that red. There we go. Orange and cardinal red. Kind of put the two together, so. I'll give you a nice look, nicer look. Okay. So it just looks like little blossoms and they can be white too. All right. So I'm going to pick up right here with the same eight. I'm doing classic green and lime green. Happy green. Citrus, happy, any of those colors work if you have them. This is classic green and a bright green. This one's happy green. You can use lime green, citrus, uh, some of the colors that you might already have that I use a lot. You can also get all my colors and special paint sets and brushes because I have Donna Dewberry brushes and um, on my website, onestroke.com. And if you're a member of my advantage, you get an extra 10% when you go buy anything on my website. So I have packets to practice on top of my strokes, all kinds of tools. Oh, that's looking pretty, huh? And I, you can put a little gray vine wreath on here, little twine little twigs. Okay. All right, so I just want her kind of loose and fun. And I can call this one Brooke. And this is my Brookie when she was young. So I can write across here. Right. And over here, love, Mima. They love me, Ma. There we are. Isn't that kind of fun? Now, the only thing I would have done at the top is this dark up here would have been nice. So you can always come in at the end and add little bits more to your background with a paintbrush. Now, I use the sponge, like I told you. I use the sponge. 
Let's see, because there's so much space up there. I can choose, see how the streak is there. I should use a three quarter brush instead of this. But because it's kind of choppy, it's nice to be choppy up here too. See, just a little bit around. Oh, I spread the green a little bit. And you don't have to just have one color in the background. You can add other colors. Oops, like I smeared the green again. That must show you that I'm going to use some green in here. <laughs> or not, you don't have to. Okay, now I used that patina earlier, which is a really pale aqua color, but now I'm adding aqua. Adding some white in there. Okay, I just want y'all to have fun with it. It's yours to create. Come back in here and put more of this aqua. What do you think? All right. So catch me on Friday, practice strokes. They will help you with lots of painting. Okay. Hope y'all enjoy. Mm -hmm.